Alright, we're back. It's another episode of The Witness. Boom. I don't really have a plan for this episode. I, uh... Okay, I can keep walking further backwards. Um, I've found a few more contextual puzzles just kind of wandering around, but... I don't really know what I'm going to do after that. A couple of them I can't even solve. Like... This one. That's not it. That's not it. Yeah. I mean, this looks like the end here? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, there's... Man, have I missed puzzles. <laughs> I've, I've missed a lot of them. Even some of the ones that, like, I found. It's just different angles on them I didn't even do. Like, for example... Totally missed this one right here. I actually don't know how to do this one. Why do you not count? I just keep stepping back until everything seems to blur into one. Yeah, well, that seems to be the ticket. Just keep going backwards. So it all looks the same. Oof. Oh. I think that one right there is the one I just did. Um, and I missed another one in this town. Because I never actually looked out the window when I climbed this church. Or if I even climb this church. But, uh... Oh, did I do that one? Well, there's no rocket shot. Maybe I did do that one. It wasn't glowing as I went through it. Thought I missed it. Okay, I'm better than I thought I was. But, um... I was just looking around, and I look down here, and now I'm wondering, how in the world do I get down there? I think the answer's got to be that way. But, not what I'm going to go looking for today. I think we're still going to keep doing contextual puzzles in this one, but... Because there are more. More contextual puzzles. Like, figured out that one. Okay, so that side is that housing over there. There's one that goes up and one that goes down. Interesting one. I think I want to take a look th this place th with the boat. Try taking the boat around, see if that, uh. See if that gives me sight on any. Actually, hey, how do I. I can get on the roof there. I haven't done that yet.
Oh. Oh. There's one. What's over here? Nothing? Or something? Oh, well, it's a little sandcastle. But no, I don't see any. Nothing through there. string kind of looked like maybe it was something. No. Nope. Guess not. Don't see. Oh, right. Oh, hey. So that's that. That's probably what's over here. And now there's just one last puzzle. Circle at the top going down. Hmm. From the water, you would look like something. You're not open on that side. There's nothing down there. Black lines I almost feel like a distraction from what the last one really is. But I have no idea what the last one really is. that one. That was cool. Don't see any other... Don't see any other ones from the roof. Now that black... Sheet, that would still do something. That feels like it's something. I might have to get back on the boat and take a look. But for now... Er... Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, let's just go on the boat. sheet right here, lining up perfectly with this. It's just like... But where does the circle come in from? Maybe it's a red herring. I 
anything else that walls up there? Back up for a moment. See if I'm crazy. I probably am. I mean, I know I am, but I mean more crazy than usual. Crazy like a fox. What could possibly act? circle for you. I don't see it. No. No, I don't see it. It's not. Okay. Not around the inside. Around the inside. Go around the inside. Let's get a closer look, eh? I'll go full speed. Still get here. The only other thing I could think of is maybe... Oh, hey, there's a lady there. Oh, and that rock's supposed to be like her long flowing hair. I see. That looked suspicious to me, too. I was wondering about that. I never saw that statue there before. Now I get why that's like that. What's going on here? Anything? Anything? Don't see anything. I know there's a, at least one more in that house. I can tell because the, uh, pillars, things over there. I know which one of those sides represents the house now. Let's see if there's anything along this coast. There should be. One of the nice things is that I don't have to worry about taking two directions to see if there is. Pace a little bit. Yeah, there was a little something. Um, let's stop and go back the other way. I think I gotta go the other way for that one anyway, so. Guess we'll see. The game is so peaceful. Until you're racing to one these puzzles, and it's super stressful. But then you get it. And you're exhilarated, and it's peaceful again. Actually, we've almost done a full circle, a full rotation here.
going to end up back at the uh, kind of lumber factory looking thing in a minute. See if there's one more thing along this pathway. And then, um, actually, I guess then I'll climb back up the mountain and we'll just start in there. Or I'll continue in there. We'll continue. I don't think I'm going to hunt down every single one of these contextual puzzles on camera anyway. Most of them have no idea where they are, so. Just wind up be mostly me walking around looking at stuff like, oh, is that one? No, is that? No. So. I'll spare you from that. continue on the game and hopefully not get completely stumped I should not even sure what the fastest way up the mountain would be from here probably this way oh yeah no of course I stopped at the farthest point from the Ugh. Oy vey. Wow, there are a lot of those around somewhere. to have forgotten how to climb this thing. No, right, yeah, it's this way. What am I doing? What am I doing? You manipulate something. Obviously. But. Oh! I see. So, in order to... Huh. Of course, 
this thing's in my way. Oh. The relation between the controller and the controlled is reciprocal. The scientist in the laboratory studying the behavior of a pigeon designs contingencies and observes their effects. His apparatus exerts a conspicuous control over the pigeon, but we must not overlook the control exerted by the pigeon. The behavior of the pigeon has determined the design of the apparatus and the procedures in which it is used. Some such reciprocal control is characteristic of all science. As Francis Bacon put it, nature to be commanded must be obeyed. The scientist who designs a cyclotron is under the control of the particles he is studying. Uh. The behavior with which a parent controls his child, either aversively or through positive reinforcement, is shaped and maintained by the child's responses. A psychotherapist changes the behavior of his patient in ways which have been shaped and maintained by his success in changing that behavior. A government or religion prescribes and imposes sanctions selected by their effectiveness in controlling citizen or communicant. An employer induces his employees to work industriously and carefully with wage systems determined by their effects on behavior. The classroom practices of the teacher are shaped and maintained by the effects on his students. In a very real sense then, the slave controls the slave driver, the child, the parent, the patient, the therapist, the citizen, the government, the communicant, the priest, the employee, the employer, and the student, the teacher. B.F. Skinner, 1971. One, two. Oh, this is... Oh, this is effing with me. Oh, there's one down there. I didn't even see that one. That doesn't work. But it could work if I do this instead. Then it moves. Oh, 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 God. No, oh, down, down. They stop. Oh. 
Ugh. F that one. Oh my god, that was awful. I hated that. I hated that so much. Okay, so mental note. Figure out a way to make sure the path goes around here. That's a pretty good indicator of, oh, how in the world do I actually do that? You're cruel, game. You're cruel. the other side. There's a puzzle in there. Okay, how what are you gonna do to me? Okay, can see that. These ones aren't so bad, I can at least kind of see. Though if they start spinning, I'm done. <laughs> this game, if they start spinning. Okay, I think I see another black dot here. I think I actually need to do that. Separate you out like that. That should do it. Oh, of course, I have to. Okay. If I run under the assumption that you are a uh, three piece like this, I would need to separate the white ones out like so. almost possible. Because it's a black square there, and if I have to do this, I don't know. You have to be a four square. This puzzle will be impossible otherwise. Ah. Thing here. Any other ones? Can't see any other ones. So I have to hit this point. Oh wait, no, I see one here. Yeah, there.
Oh, that was not quite... It. Oh no, this still works. No, it doesn't. There we go. And last one. Easier than the one before that. And let... Okay, I can see you there. Any other gray points? There's one here. The only problem is I'm getting that illusion where you have a bunch of boxes with lines and you can see the dots. It's a little hard to totally tell if I'm not looking at an illusion at the moment. No, I think you're he I know you two are here. Close. Oh, the end to it's over there. I need to be able to stand a bit more over there. Hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, he's... Okay. Do that. That should at least get me close enough to be able to maybe do that puzzle in there. It won't get me around here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, now let me see. Okay. So. You're a four, you're a four. I've got depth of five. Hmm. You're one, two, three, four. I've got five in height. So you gotta do this? No. No, no, this, this is working, but won't work definitely. Okay. Well, that turns that one on. Um, where's the next one? Squished in there. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can figure out an angle on the next one. See it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. I can I walk in? Oh, I can walk in here. Oh, I can walk through here. Good to know. Don't think I can solve it from this side. How did you get stuck like this? Maybe from the other side, but that 
tell lets me know that as long as I'm going if I go through here I cut through there. Let's try ending on the other button. I want to look in that room. So I can cut th through here. Essentially is what I'm... Oh no, not through here. Through here. That's where I was going, right? Okay, I can cut from here and I can teleport... Let's say this bar here to this bar here. So I can do that if I need to. It's probably going to be important. be able to cut through that mess. Let's see if I aim this right. Well, I could have if I had done this properly. Oh, right. Here's a perspective for this. Okay, we'll do this instead. One, two, three, and one, two. Gotta separate you two. to do. Okay, uh, well, let's remember that I actually do need to be able to walk up that way. Didn't 
quite put it at the junk. I might still be able to make that. We'll see. I still get yes. What do we have here? Oh, got another recorder. Two major schools of Zen exist in Japan, the Rinzai and the Soto. Both have the same goal of seeing the world unmediated, but their approaches are different. In the Soto school, the emphasis is on quiet contemplation in a seated position without a particular focus for thought. The method in the Rinzai school, however, is to put the intellect to work on problems that have no logical resolution. Such problems are known as koans from the Chinese kung an, meaning public announcement. Some are mere questions. For example, when your mind is not dwelling on the dualism of good and evil, what is your original face before you were born? Others are set in a question and answer form, like, what is the Buddha? Answer, three pounds of flax, or the cypress tree in the courtyard, to name but two of the classic responses. According to tradition, there are 1,700 such conundrums in the Zen repertoire. And their common aim is to induce a kind of intellectual catastrophe, a sudden jump which lifts the individual out of the domain of words and reason into a direct, non-mediated experience known as Satori. Zen differs from other meditative forms, including other schools of Buddhism, and that it does not start from where we are and gradually lead us to a clear view of the true way of the world. It is not a progressive system in this respect. The sole purpose of studying Zen is to have Zen experiences, sudden moments like flashes of lightning when the intellect is short-circuited and there is no longer a barrier between the experiencer and reality. David Darling, 1996. I think I've heard of that um, style of Zen before. One of the questions that have no real logical answer. I can't remember when I was speaking about that, but they're interesting. That is, that is for sure. Okay, so I need to. It's kind of funny how they talk about Zen and questions without answers while I'm sitting here solving a puzzle with a question that blatantly has an answer. <laughs> but I won't harp on them too much for that. Okay, how do I separate that black dot out from the rest? That's basically the only thing I'm trying to figure out right now is cutting through here or any of these this doesn't seem to be a way to isolate this one which would make this impossible if not for what These are all... I uh, can't even change my perspective on this a little bit either. Those are going to be forever blocked. Those aren't. Oh, no, I don't want that screen. I want this screen. Oops. 
just a matter of perspective. Your double. There's one right behind the cross. Now I can do that, that. Fifth. Was there one more? No. have to look at you. I know you're there, but I don't have to look at you. Really? You think being up this close is what I need? Well, it worked. Okay. Head over to the door. Oh, right. This way. I totally messed this up. <laughs> oh. Hiccups, apparently. That's where I want to end up. Which means... Okay, I need to do it so... I'm here, and then... Do that. Or I'm here... And that, or something. So... I also need to make sure I get to this point. Should do it. Bingo. replicas of that windmill puzzle I did. Tree fort. Many of the tree forts.
a very interesting design. Actually, it's going beyond it's just design. This is very interesting, like a uh, architectural challenge, like to take um, to take the random shapes of nature. Not totally random. Trees do have a bit of a pattern to them, but they're not completely static and exactly the same. To take that and to build around it in a functional manner. All interesting little puzzles. You are a big loop. And that means I'm suspicious of you. Trigger that from here. Okay, well. New room. Psychedelic new puzzle. And we're out of time. So, I'm going to put a break in it here. And I'll catch you all in the next part. Until then, bye for now.